Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead in our mountain pose to get started. Spread your toes out now, gripping with the toes. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, and crown reaching toward the ceiling. Feel your spine start lengthening. And keep those shoulders back and down, relaxing. Focus on the hips and spine a little bit today. And we'll start with our warm up. So bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out, hands to your heart, pull those back, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down, and clasp your hands behind you. Fingertips down toward the floor and lift your heart, feel that back bend starting, and then pivot over. So come as deeply as you like, spreading your toes, maybe a little bend to the knees, or straighten them a little bit more for some back to the leg stretch. Hands toward your head, and then move your chin around, getting your neck releasing a little bit. And with your knees slightly bent and your chin slightly in, work from the bottom of the spine back up, and again, into that upper body for your back bend. Shoulders dropping, chest rising. Toes spreading and crown reaching away. So keep lengthening through your spine. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling what's going on internally for you today. And again, arms at your shoulders, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way. Let me fingertips to the floor, lift your heart. Stretch that spine, nice open warm up, and then exhale over. And again, just deepen, lengthen, relax, lift the sitting bones, do what's right for your warm up. Knees slightly bent again as you come back all the way to the top. And again, a nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders. Just feel that whole spine lengthen while you're in your back bone. Inhale, upright, releasing back to your toes. Side stretches next, so lateral motion to the spine. Let's keep one arm down, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean, no twist over to the side. So make sure both shoulders and hips stay facing forward. Reach out through your fingers and your head, down into that foot you're leaning away from. Feel those ribs expand and that spine loops sideways. And then inhale, upright, release that arm. Shoulders back and down, bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. And again, stretch the arms and lean no twist to the opposite side. And just sliding along your leg wherever it wants to go, the other foot going down. And remember, keep that chest forward and reach out through your hands and hands and head. Take a breath, relaxing into it. And then on an inhalation, come on up, exhale back into the mountain pose. Feel the sides more open, getting ready for our spinal twist. So get that spine nice and stretched apart. And arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows and the arms next to your ears. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, elbows and crown up. Spread that spine apart and turn to a twist. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then exhale it over. Just deepen as far as you'd like. <clears throat> Lift your sitting bones and keep your arms by your ears. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can, even though you're turning to one side. And then staying turned in your twist, work your way up and lift your heart. So remember, upper body only for your back bend when you're twisting, because that lower back needs just gentle work. Elbows back, chest up. Keep breathing. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms, balance your body all the way. Stretch your spine apart, exhale, turn to the other side. Another breath. And exhale on over. Keep the weight on both feet as you come on down. 
Arms next to your ears, just hang, let everything relax. And keeping the weight on both feet when you're ready, inhale, pull the way back up in the twist into that upper body back. Thank you for one more time. Shoulders down, elbows back, and chest high. Feel your whole spine lengthen, even when you're twisted and backward. And then inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms extended into fingertips toward the ceiling, extending that knee. Sitting bones down, shoulders, shoulder blades down, frail and fingertips reaching up. Feel your whole body lengthen. Pivot forward from the hips and push those sitting bones slightly back. Get your body as parallel to the floor as you can. Stretch it out. And then just drop into rag down. Okay. So however far it wants to go down, lift the sitting bones, straighten the knees as much as your legs want. You can pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like that back stretch. And then bringing the arms back to the center, just hanging, wind your way again from the bottom of the spine, all the way back up into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel your body warmer, more energized, getting ready to do a little work. Angle your toes out, bend your knees slightly, toward not beyond your toes, hands above your knees. Remember, position, but don't support, so no pressure in your hands. We're doing a twist. So sitting bones go back, crown forward, face of the skull forward, everything stretching apart in that spine. And then as you exhale, turn toward the side and bring your shoulder down toward your knee as you lift the hips behind you a little bit, coming all the way into the twist so your whole body is turned to the side, not just your neck, not just your shoulder. Stretch out the spine, feel it. Keep those knees right above your ankles or slightly behind. And then exhale, turn back to the center and straighten, stretch, and get ready to twist the other way. Exhale, and again, moving your whole body, lifting that hip, turning your ribs, turning your shoulders, looking to the side, bringing that shoulder down toward that opposite knee. Make a stretch around along the spine. Exhale, and again, turn back to the front. Stretch and straighten your spine long, and then round it slightly. Chin slightly in, and again, coming all the way up and back into mountain pose. Feel your whole body a little bit more energized. And let's do our pelvic tilts. So warming up the hips again, Angle the legs out, so the knees and toes go the same direction with the toes slightly out. Knees right above your toes, again, hands above, position not support, and shoulders above your toes. Stretch the whole spine long and straight, and then sink into the back bend. So those hips, sitting bones go back, feeling that whole pelvis shift as the chest comes down and you look forward. Feel that whole spine and a little back bend, and remember, no pressure on those hands. Just keep those shoulders right where they are above the, above the knees, above the toes. Tuck the sitting bones down and forward, pulling the ribs in. Shoulders kind of rounding forward as you look down, forward bending. So remember, you're spreading your toes. The whole body is moving. So you're really inhaling into the back bend with that pelvic tilt pushing up and back. And then the pelvic tilt tilting down and forward as you suck in that midsection back into the C shape. So feel your whole spine going through its range of motion as well as the pelvis shifting, moving those hips, letting them warm up a little bit. And then from next to your rounded forward, pause and come on back up again into mountain pose. A little bit warmer through the hips, through the spine, through the whole body. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands up. Lift your heart, pull the thumbs back, nice upper body back bend always as deeply as you like. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop all the way down and drag down. And slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. 
So everything gets straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Stretch it out. And again, exhaling, deepen into that forward position. Just for a moment, maybe put them deeper if you love it. And then with the arms to the front, we're gonna roll back one more time into mountain pose. Take a moment there, breathing. And bring your arms out to the sides, palms up, hands right above your shoulders. So you're in your extended mountain. Everything is feet hip width apart, hips, ankles, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, and fingertips all lined up. Keep your arms next to your ears. Keep your spine straight. We're pushing the sitting bones back, coming into our chair pose squat. So the knees go toward not beyond your toes. Those sitting bones, hips go way back behind you and come as deeply into your squat as you'd like. So weight into the balls of the feet and the heels evenly. Stretch out through the long spine. Keep it as straight as you can. Feel your core working to support you. Notice those hips going way back, maybe a little further. And then lean with your fingertips, push into your feet, and come up all the way up. Palms out and back down into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathe, feeling your body, exhaling any tension. And let's do that once more. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. So we're going into our squat as deeply as you want. Remember, if you've got knee issues, don't go deep, but always keep those knees behind or over your toes. And the sitting bones go way back behind you as you come into your squat. Take a moment there, getting everything straight and aligned, evenly distributing your weight on both feet. And then bring your hands to your heart, prayer position. And we're going to go into another twist. So lengthening through the spine, sitting bones and crown away from each other, spine open. And then as you exhale, turn your whole body again toward the side. So you're looking to the side, you're lifting that hip, you're turning toward, the other one comes slightly down, and your shoulders both face the side. So you're not just turning your neck. Your hands stay right there at your heart so that your elbow comes toward your knee. If it gets to your knee, you can use a little leverage if you love a twist and go even a little deeper into the twist. So stretch your spine apart so it's got room to twist. Exhale, and just deepen. And then turning back to the center, bring your arms back next to your ears, straighten everything out in your chair pose, and lead with your fingertips again, coming all the way up, palms out into mountain pose. But of course, you know we have to balance our bodies. So we're going to do that once more, twisting to the opposite side. So remember, twists always stretch your spine apart. Shoulders back and down, everything lined up. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. And then to your extended mountain. Stretch everything apart and sink into your squat. So chair pose, knees going toward, not beyond your toes. Arms staying next to your ears. Sitting bones way back behind you, only as deep into your squat as you like. Hands together to your heart. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep that spine stretching apart. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And again, turn your whole body toward that opposite side. So knee, uh, elbow coming toward the knee. As much as it wants, you may never get there. That's okay. Hip going up on the side, you're turning toward the other one slightly down. So your whole body is turning, facing to the side. Shoulders stacked in one above the other. Exhale, you manage your twist as much as you'd like. Keep that spine stretching apart. Sitting bones and crown away from each other. Take a breath. Exhale, turn back to the center. Return into your squat chair pose. 
And again, lead with those fingertips, spine straight, coming all the way back up, palms out, and again, mountain pose. As you get back there, take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension, feel your spine a little bit more worked out, and your hips, and your hands to your heart. And again, just looking at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling, thumbs back, chest high, look at those thumbs, get a nice back bend, and exhale, pick it on over. All the way into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones, get those legs stretched, slide your hands up under your knees, and stretch and straighten halfway up. So everything is straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Feel that lengthening. And then bending your knees, come on into our child pose, transition to the floor. Hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, or head down toward the middle. Take a moment, let that full spine get a nice release in your forward bend. You can separate your knees to breathe easier or bring them together for that back stretch. And don't forget to relax. Now when you're ready to sit up, inhale into step position, legs out in front. So feet are hip width apart. Sitting on slightly behind you, remember you can pad if you need a little pelvic tilt to make that comfortable. Knees straight up, toes straight up, and press out just gently through your heels. So your whole body is supported on those sitting bones with the shoulders right above your hips. The core, of course, supporting your spine and your crown reaching toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. We're warming up the hips a little more. So bring your foot to your opposite thigh or leg, wherever it goes, and just add a little weight from your hands if you want, but don't push. You just wanna let that knee come gently down toward the floor when the leg is ready to do that. Feel that outside of the hip working maybe a little bit more. Keep the toes and knee up on this front leg. If this is really tight, remember you can bring the leg over to the side. That makes it a little bit easier through the hip and pelvis. Do what's right for your body, personal practice. Exhale, let everything relax. Add the weight, but not pressure if you want. And just let that knee come as far toward the floor as it wants to go today. And when you're ready to work that rotator a little more, bring your ankle and knee into your hands or pull your arms around the leg and pull it in a little bit more which will make it a little bit more intense as you move back and forth, getting that hip rotator working a little bit further. If that's lovely and working for you, you can pull the leg closer or bring it higher. You'll notice that more in the hips. So if that's not right for you, remember, don't do it. And always keep the spine nice and straight. So rounding those shoulders, keep those shoulders back and down, the crown reaching high. Always the spine nice and open in your yoga practice. And just get as deeply into your warm as you'd like. And when you're ready to release, just bring the leg back out into hip width apart position, stand. And notice the difference on the two sides, because remember, that's what you're doing in yoga is being aware of what's going on for you. So of course, yeah, we gotta balance that body. So get those sitting bones behind you, get that core activated, get those shoulders back and down and the crown reaching up. Don't forget to breathe and bring that opposite foot up to the thigh, letting the knee come down on the other side. Again, knee and toes up, either straight to the front or over more to the side. Don't forget you can do that padding behind you for that extra tilt if that makes it easier and more body friendly for you. Again, you can add weight from your hand, but no pressure. We don't want to make the muscles resist. We want to let them relax. So just allow it to happen, however much it wants to do today. Take a breath. Always exhaling, letting things just release even. And of course, when you get that release enough and it feels good for you, just bring the foot up and the knee up or the arms around your leg and rotate side to side. 
So once more, as deeply as you like, just feeling that outside of the hip getting even more lubricated, if that's working. Don't forget your spine is straight. Those shoulders are back and down. The crown is high. Don't forget to breathe. If you're loving it, remember you can make this more intense in the hip, but you don't need to if that's not right for your body. Again, breathe, just relaxing, everything deepening, however much you need it to be. And then releasing that foot back into staff position. Take a moment feeling maybe a little bit more through those hips. And bring your feet into butterfly. See how those legs are doing on that inner thigh. Clasp around your toes and let the knees just move out toward the sides as far as they want to go. Remember those inner thighs are a little bit tight usually in our yoga practice early in the day. So just let everything release. As always, you can add a little weight from your arms or hands. Bringing those knees further toward the floor, but no pressure. Always just gentle, allowing the stretch, not forcing it. So bring the heels in as close as you'd like, up through the crown, the whole body of lengthening. And then one hand at a time, bring them under your shoulders behind you. So fingertips down or palms down, whatever works for you. And then just a little pressure into the hands. And as you do that, that releases some of that core and inner leg stress and stretch. And maybe those knees will come even further toward the floor, or maybe not. But just notice how your body responds to that. Feel the chest open, feel the heart expand, feel the spine lengthening. Remember, no rounding those shoulders forward. We want that chest nice and open along with the hips and legs. So don't forget to breathe and relax into it. Kind of let the bottoms of the feet go toward the ceiling. That keeps things aligned a little bit more effectively in the legs somehow. And then releasing those hands, just allow your body to lengthen. Maybe slide those feet a little bit forward, hands under your legs, and bring your hands on palms onto the tops of your feet. So lengthen through the spine, push the sitting bones maybe a little bit further back behind you, and then lean with your heart, bringing your whole upper body down. Keep the spine as straight as you can, and that upper body toward your feet. If you're really flexible in the hips and legs, you may make it all the way to your feet, but you never need to do that. So just go as deeply as you'd like. Take a moment and relax. And then releasing your hands, slide back up, bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders down, ground up. And again, we're gonna pivot slightly forward and then turn the whole body into the twist. So remember your spine is all apart. Your hip is going slightly more down. This one may come up that you're turning toward and your whole body is turning a little bit toward the side, looking over toward that knee. So the shoulders are above each other and the elbows across from each other, hands still at your heart. So your whole body turns into a little twist. Exhale, turn back to the center, bring those arms straight out and lengthening your spine. Exhale, turn again toward the opposite side. So remember, you can twist in just about any position as long as you're stretching your spine apart letting those hips move as well as your whole body turning toward whatever side you're moving toward. Take a lengthening breath and exhale, turn back to the center. Release your hands and sit back upright, lift your knees, bring those legs out to the front. Again, staff position, feel your body, lengthen through your whole spine. And of course, we're going to do Another twist. So bring your right foot in and bring it as close heel toward your body as you can. Wrap your arms around your leg, straighten up through the spine, stretching it apart. And we're gonna keep the opposite arm around that knee and bring the arm out to the front of that knee that you're bending. Stretch up through the spine, follow that hand around behind you into another twist. So rotating through the hips, through the spine. So your hips are 
the hip you're moving away from comes up a little bit maybe as you turn your whole body and bring those shoulders parallel to each other facing the front. Bring that hand behind you close to your body on the floor. Come in with your arm on the knee. Reach up through the crown. Exhale. Deep and even further if you love the twist. So as much as you like, exhaling any tension. And then bring your hand back to shoulder level behind you and follow it to the center. Release, bringing that leg out to the front. Feel the difference? So yeah, we've got a balance and twist to the other side. Sitting bones behind you, spine stretching apart for our twist. Press out through those heels, pull the opposite knee in. Again, heel close to your body, wrap both arms around, get a good stretch through your spine. Opposite arm stays around that knee and the other arm out to the front. Stretch up. And again, that hip you're moving is turning a little bit off the floor as you bring that hand behind you. Turn your whole body, shoulders both facing the side and turning your head as well. So not just your neck, not just your shoulder, but your whole spine, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning. Hand to the floor, close to you on the floor behind you, stretching up through the spine, deepening into the twist as much as you like, pulling in with the knee and down with those fingers behind you into the floor, up through the crown, and that hip that you're turning toward is maybe up a little bit, letting that whole body turn into your twist. And then bring the hand back up, follow it back around to the center, and release. Take a moment in staff position. Feel all of that energy through your spine. And we're going to do another twist, very similar. So bring your right knee in, bending it. Put the foot outside of the left leg this time. Again, you can wrap both arms around and stretch. You can either keep that left arm around your right knee, or you can bring the left arm inside the knee and extend it to the floor. Other arm straight out in front. Again, stretch the spine apart. Follow the hand around behind you, shoulder level. Bring the hand down to the floor, close to your body. Stretch up. Get those spine bones opening. Exhale. And again, turning your whole body both hips turning, both shoulders turning, your whole spine turning into that twist. Lengthen up through the crown. You can leverage with this arm on the knee if that's a good twist for you, or you can just keep the arm pulling in on the leg if that's better for you. So remember, personal practice always. And when you're ready to release, bring your hand back to shoulder level behind you and follow it to the center as you release back into staff. But we've got to, yeah, balance the body and do the other direction. Sitting bones behind you, toes pulling back, heels out, feet hip width apart, pulling in that left leg, put it outside your right leg. Again, wrapping around or pulling that arm to the outside of the knee and allowing your whole body to leverage a little bit. Arm out in front, shoulder level, following it into your twist. Whole body turning, remember, you've got that spine open, up through the crown. The hip is one moving slightly up so that your whole body, hips, as well as ribs and shoulder and head turn toward the side. The hand is on the floor close to you for leverage, and that arm is either leveraging into the knee or pulling it in on that front leg. Take a breath. Just exhaling and deepening as much as you want. Always personal practice on your twist, but keep those spines nice and open. And then bring your hand back up, follow it back to the center, releasing into step, getting ready yeah, to bring your feet to the end of the mat for our final relaxation. Sitting bones slightly behind you, core activated, stretch through your spine, and then just let everything roll to the floor. So coming all the way down onto the mat, just sit there, exhaling and deepening. Options, you can stay in corpse position if you want a little bit more hip work today. Remember your feet 
together and your knees out toward the side into that butterfly position with your legs. And then for your hands, you can either leave them at your sides, palms up, letting those shoulders come down to the floor. Or you can bring the arms straight out, T position, and then bend the elbows and bring the fingertips up along the floor into God's position. So find your practice today for your relaxation, either opening those hips and chest in goddess position, or just allowing the butterfly for your hips, or just staying in corpse position, relaxing your whole body. And whatever position you end up in, just exhale, and let your body soften and sink toward that surface beneath you. Feel what's being supported by that earth support. And just let your body deepen into that support. Exhale any tension, just let your body go completely. Deepen your breath, releasing any tightness in the spine, in the hips, lots of work there today. Let it all go. Exhale and just relaxing even deeper into that earth embrace. And allow your body to release any tightness. Exhaling completely. Letting thoughts of your body just release as you relax. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's always the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts go, drifting away as easily as your breath. Thoughts flowing in and out without attention. And your body relaxes and your mind just drifts. Allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Turning inward to that peace deep within. And as you breathe, just breathe in the peace. Exhaling tension. Allowing your awareness to fill with peace. Body, mind, at peace. If that relaxation feels especially good today, just stay relaxing as long as you can. But it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the womb, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, begin moving your body gently. If you're in goddess position, just go ahead and lift those legs. Pull the heels toward your hips. And your knees toward your heart into that final yoga hug of appreciation. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today. Give yourself that appreciative hug. Let your body know you appreciate its work every day as well. And when you're ready to release, always bring your head and feet to the floor and roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead of you today. Thanks for joining me.